Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add some free animations to your Divi website using the free Lottie files. Really easy to do and you can get some great effects using these things. So let's get started. I'm going to go over to Lottie files themselves and here's the Lottie files site. I'll put this URL down below for anybody that wants it. And if we go up here to discover, I'm going to go down to free animations. They've got free and paid animations. If you want to pay for them, they start at real cheap prices, but I tend to use the free ones. There's usually something good in the free versions for what I need it for. Up at the top here, you can put a little search in. Let's put a little search in for some web, web design. There we go, we've got a few results up here. There's the one I used last time. Let's take a different one this time. Let's perhaps use this one right here. So I'm going to left click on it. And it's going to open it in a new little window here. And as you can see, it's got a little controller there. that You control it, pause it if you need to. Or continue the loop if you want to. You can go down when you're happy. I'm going to go ahead and hit the HTML button down here. You've got various things. You can add it straight to a WordPress site there or an Elementor site, Webflow, Apple, things like that. I'm going to use the HTML, which will give us an iframe. We roll on down. We've got it right here. Now here we can select the size of it. I'm going to make mine a bit bigger. I'm going to say 400 pixels wide. Yeah, 400 pixels tall and animation speeds okay you can double it if you want them to go quicker obviously it's not too bad or you can really slow it down if you want to go slower 0.5 that's pretty graceful let's leave it on one okay you've got the controls down the bottom here I don't want the controls on mine okay and when you're happy with what you've got up here we can simply copy this code. You can either select it and hit Control C or hit the copy code button down below. Once you have this, let's go back to our Divi site here. And I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And you may notice on the Builder end of things, we've lost our Lottie file here, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. What I'm going to do is go into back end mode. I've got a section here with that little background color in there. Inside the section, I've got a row, the green tab with two columns in it. My lot is actually in this left column, but it doesn't show up on the builder side for some reason. Let's go into back end mode, hit the little purple button here. Here's our wireframe button on the left hand side at the bottom. Click this, it'll take us to back end mode. And here we can see that's where the Lottie module resides. So I'm going to actually trash that. And we'll go back to desktop mode. As you can see, this has jumped over this side now. I'm going to use a code module to insert our Lottie animation today. So I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules here, plenty enough to build any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll give you 12 more as well to display your products. OK, I need a code module for this today. Here's our code module. I'm going to left click. I'm going to put my cursor in there and I'm going to paste control V what we just copied from the Lottie site just now. There it is. And as you may notice or as you may not notice because you can't see it, it doesn't actually show up here. But thankfully it does show up on the front end. So let's save this. and We'll take a quick look on the front end. We'll save our draft. And let's exit the visual builder. And there it is, there's our animation. Now to me, it's sort of taking up a bit too much real estate here uh, and making this too wide. We can adjust the margin on this to take it up a bit. Let's see actually how much it's taking up here. I'm using Google Chrome, so I've just right clicked with the Chrome inspector. Here it is, let's select the whole thing. Right there. If I click on that whole thing there, we can see the actual amount it's taking up. 
that blue highlighted square there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up, let's say perhaps 100 pixels, maybe 120 pixels. I'll try that just to pull it up to the top. So let's go to our builder side again. And again, we can't see our Lottie file here on the builder side. But what we'll do, we'll go back into our wireframe mode, back into our code module. And I want to take this up. I want to move this up by about 120 pixels. So I can go over to my design, to spacing. And on the margin top, we're going to say negative 120 pixels. Just put in the 120 or put in the pixels. That way it should put it up by about 120 pixels. While we're in here, I'll just explain that code to you. If we go back to our content and into our text here, here we've got our script. There's the URL of the actual animation that it's pulling in. And here's the actual player. So if you wanted to, you could uh, change the size from inside here. We've got our background, which is transparent. You can change your color there if you wanted to. Animation speed's one at the moment. You could change your speed here. Width is 400 and height's 400. You could change that to 450 if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller by just simply going in there and changing it to what you want. I'll change that back because I think 400 is going to work for me. So that's another option if you've downloaded it already and you want to go in there and change a few things. It's got most of it there for you. Great. Well, let's save this now and have a look at what we've got on the front end. There we have it. I think I've pushed it up slightly too much there. It's a bit close to the top. Another way of judging it, because we can't see it on the builder, we could actually go in here, right click and inspect the actual animation itself again. I'll go back up to the top. And there's our container. There's script. And here's our little code module right here where it says code. If I click on that, if I roll down a bit, there's our margin top right there. I can select this, I can select the 120 right there, and I can roll down or up with my mouse number and take it down to the amount we actually want it. As I'm rolling down, it's going down the page there. I want to try and line it up somewhere with our one on the right there. So 87. We could even go down a little bit more. Let's round it down. So I think 80 pixels is going to look about right there. So now that we've done this with our Chrome Inspector here, and most browsers have this feature nowadays. If yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. So 80 pixels seems like the magic number. So let's go back in there. We'll just adjust this, and we should be good to go. And we'll go back into our wireframe mode. There's our code module. Over to design. Spacing. There's the 120. I'm going to change that to negative 80. Great. If I flip back, unfortunately, we still won't see it on the back end here. Let's save draft or publish. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. That works quite nicely for me. I might shrink this down slightly, the actual section itself, take a bit of margin or padding off the bottom there. But apart from that, that works perfectly. And that's a great little eye-catching feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. And like I say, it's free. And I'll put the Lottie URL down below for anybody that wants to use this. So there you go, guys. There is how to add a free Lottie animation to your Divi theme site. Obviously this is HTML, so it'll work with any sort of HTML, Bootstrap, or any other WordPress site too, with a code module. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.